Hello, my name is Dr. Rohan Basundath and I'm the medical director here at Preventus Cosmetic Medicine. Today we're going to take a little bit of an overview through the management of the neck and decollete area. As you can see, we've moved into a treatment room where we perform our injectable treatments with botulinum toxins and dermal fillers. We have Mila with us and we're going to take a look at some of the areas that we see changes and the type of changes we see in the neck and decollete area. Uh, in the neck, over time, we develop skin changes where we see these necklace lines or these horizontal wrinkles or lines that develop in the neck. Um, we also see skin changes, we can get brown areas, we can get red areas, we can get skin laxity and crinkly or crepiness of the skin can develop. The other thing that can happen, we have a muscle that lies across here called the platysma muscle. It's a flat, broad muscle, and that is involved in depressing the face when it's activated. So if Mila says E for us, an extended E, E, a big, good, loud E, great. And we can see some of those areas have hypertrophy. You can relax now. And in Mila's case, we only really see it when she's animating. But in some folks, over time as we age, we develop those persistent bands in the neck. Those are areas that we can treat with botulinum toxin to relax, uh, to relax them back. When we develop the crepiness or the laxity in the neck, we can use a biostimulator. So it's, it's a filler type material, it doesn't add volume, but instead it stimulates collagen production in the tissues that we inject it. In the decollete, a similar, a similar issues occur. We get skin changes, dark spots, red spots. Uh, we can also get crepiness of the skin developing and some laxity and when that happens, similar to the neck, we can use that collagen stimulator that we inject. Now I've moved over to one of our technology rooms and I've got two pieces of technology with me. When we're referring to the devices we use in aesthetic medicine, we generally refer to them as energy-based devices because they're using some form of energy to provide the treatment and the results to the patient. Uh, in regards to this device, this is the InMode Morpheus 8 device. It's one of our newer devices. It's an energy-based device, and the energy it's based on is radio frequency. Radio frequency, when we drive it into the tissues, and it's, it's administered to the tissue via this handpiece. This handpiece has a needling device, and at the tips of the needles, that's where the radio frequency energy is generated. So when we're stamping the skin with it, we're stimulating the skin through mechanical trauma of the needles, and then stimulating collagen production also through the, the introduction of heat energy through radio frequency. The device on my left hand side is a device that's been around for many years now, Altherapy. It works based on ultrasound energy and it drives ultrasound into the tissues and those ultrasound waves stimulate the, the cells and the molecules and heat up the tissues. At the end of the day, it's really heat we want in the tissues. Heat is a potent stimulator of collagen production. Uh, and again, all therapy is performed on the face, the neck, the decollete, other body parts. And our end goal, as with the Morpheus 8, is to stimulate collagen production, improve the quality of skin, and reduce skin laxity. Okay, I've hopped over to another treatment room where we have a few more devices. The one I'm specifically interested in talking about right now for the management of the neck and the decollete area is the IPL. So this Etheria uh, laser platform provides us with intense pulse light. Intense pulse light is a band of light. So a laser by definition is one wavelength of light. Intense pulse light is a band of wavelengths, so it's a spectrum of light. And by using that, by applying intense pulse light therapy to the skin, whether it's a face, neck, decollete, it stimulates collagen, heats up the tissues to a degree, uh, and it also reduces redness, the redness from veins and vessels that might be on the skin, and it also helps to soften the appearance of brown spots. I'm in our skincare area right now, and the importance of skincare can't be overstated. I'd have to say, in terms of prevention for sure, and then corrective therapy, skincare has to be our cornerstone when we're talking about management of skin in general, but certainly that applies just as well to the neck and decollete area. Starting with sunscreen to help prevent skin changes, 
using retinols, vitamin C's, uh, to help, again, reverse some of the changes that happen when we're exposed to the sun. It's, it's one of the things we start and end with when we're talking about prevention and corrective therapy of the neck and decollete area. So thanks for taking the time to listen to my overview of treatment management of the neck and decollete area. If anybody out there is interested in learning a little bit more, give us a call, come on in, and we can take the time to sit down together and review your treatment options.